I like chatting with my friends and running and doing exercises. Uh, they make you work hard and this so positive and they make you feel like welcome as a person. So I started Fit Buddies at FIT in Los Altos. I went to the owners and said, hey, I used to work with kids with special needs. I love personal training. Can, can we combine the two here? They were beyond open to it. There's also a huge training process that has gone on over the years. They were basically like, we don't know how to run this program, so you're on your own. Um, I just had a fascination for autism and understanding the kids as kids and not as somebody that we're trying to make them to be but who they are and trying to bring out their strengths and their qualities and their quirkiness and accentuate off of that versus focus and dwell on what they can't do. My initial reaction I think was curiosity. I didn't know it was possible you know and Jen through her expertise in the past um, she described this sort of wonderful environment that it could create for me as a business owner and for other people around that could just enjoy the energy and the excitement of someone with special needs working out right alongside you. Inclusion is real important because from the standpoint of the, the person with the disability, they don't really see themselves as having a disability most of the time. I know my son doesn't, so when people sort of treat him differently, he doesn't quite understand. And they like to feel included because they're social and that helps with their sociability and it just helps their, their self-esteem and it makes them understand that they're not freakish or, you know, or just being excluded because people don't like them or something. You know? The area that I want to fix and or improve are the resources that are available to adults with disabilities. And even, I mean, resources for kids with disabilities isn't perfect by any means, but the adult population, it's kind of sickening. Aside from the Special Olympics, there wasn't really much for them to do. Special Olympics at the time, and it's a great organization, but they're very focused on individual sports, which is great. But aside from that, we needed something for them that they could do every day. A lot of people think, oh, they have an intellectual disability. They can't move as well either. Actually, they can move just as well. Nobody's taking the time to really push them to the level that they're capable of. Eric, who, when he started a couple, probably like three years ago now, I'll never forget grabbing his hands when he first walked in the door and just, I mean, my heart sank. I had been running the program for a couple years at that point, but that was the first moment where I was like, I don't know if I can help him. I don't know. I don't know. When he came here, he didn't want to participate. He was, he didn't like exercising at all. He would, you know, you could barely get him to do walks or anything like that. Uh, he's been dancing, hip hop dancing for about maybe three years. That's where the, the working out really helps him. And once he realizes how, how much better he can break dance when he's fit, he's been much more motivated to, to work out. Three years later, he's now out there running 5Ks, he's doing pull-ups like you wouldn't believe, burpees, everything the rest of us are doing. And really what I've seen over the years now is that they're no different than anyone else, really. They really aren't. You treat them the same, you encourage them the same way, they respond the same way, um, and they get healthy the same way. The goal behind establishing Buddies in Action was basically that we, so that we can take fit, fit Buddies and expand it to other facilities and to different organizations. Is FIT is one location in Los Altos and we want to try to expand into other gyms and other already existing organizations that can do the same thing that I'm doing.